Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse. We have interesting news, which is actually quite breaking news to talk about in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So the information that we're going to be talking about is actually from one of my friends, and you guys may know him because he makes Arrowverse videos, and actually this past weekend, I believe, he was at London Film and Comic Con. This is an event that I've been to in the past, pretty cool Comic Con event. Usually a couple of actors from the Arrowverse shows show up at these events and do panels and you know, you get to have a signing with them or you get to take a photo with them. And that is exactly what Comic Chris did. So subscribe to Chris's channel and watch his video where he revealed the information that he got at London Film and Comic Con just recently when he talked to David Ramsey for about 10 minutes or so, he said. So, he's got some information, and this is based on what his conversations were like with David Ramsey. And even Chris says in the video, obviously David doesn't know absolutely everything about what's happening in the future of the Arrowverse, so don't take it as 100% confirmed. Take it as if this is David's perspective, and it's what he sees the CW doing, and he's pretty involved in all of it right now, considering that he's showing up on all of these different shows, and he's also developing his own series. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. So their conversation at London Film and Comic Con, Chris asked David about a range of different topics. We're going to actually do a separate video on the potential return of Stephen Amell, aka Green Arrow, to the Arrowverse, because he actually mentions that in the video, but I feel like that deserves a video all by itself, so that's probably going to be coming in the next few days or so. But for now, we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse and the status of it and what's going to be happening in the future. And so it was very lucky that this event went on and David Ramsey was there after Superman Lois's season 2 finale premiered, because in that finale we got the big reveal that Superman Lois is in fact not in the main Arrowverse. In fact, they're on a different Earth, the characters that we see right now in Superman Lois aren't the characters that apparently we saw in Christ on Infinite Earths, although we were led to believe in Season 1 that they were our characters. However, they've reversed course and altered their motives after the success of Season 1, and so they're pivoting towards changing course and restarting the Arrowverse with this new Superverse, which is very interesting, and I think Superverse is the best way to put it, and I've heard people reference it that way in terms of them creating a new Arrowverse set in the world of Superman Lois, because Superman Lois basically has a clean slate. Apparently, Superman's the only hero, so they can develop with lots of other heroes that, say, have appeared in other Arrowverse shows, and they can start new shows if they want, set within Superman Lois' Earth, so it's basically a clean slate. And so, apparently, according to David Ramsey, as far as what he's heard and everything like that, Apparently, the Arrowverse will be officially over after The Flash ends. And so that is what Chris got out of their conversation, that The Flash, whenever it ends in the next couple of years, is going to be the final Arrowverse show. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to get Arrowverse shows in general, because they will still all be Arrowverse shows. However, they won't be set on Earth Prime, they won't be set in the continuity that we've grown to love over the years, because now it seems they want to take a new direction for the Arrowverse and put it into this Superverse set on Superman Lois's clean slate Earth. And so characters will supposedly appear in the Superverse shows and eventually spin off just like how Barry showed up in Arrow and got his own show. Obviously that spawned the Arrowverse after we got multiple shows that came off of Arrow. And so the same principle goes for what they're doing with Superman Lois. Apparently according to David Ramsey, characters from the past can appear and they can basically be anyone, they can be dead or alive, it doesn't matter because with Superman Lois's new direction is detaching it from the Arrowverse and it doesn't tie them down at all to the world building that's already been done in the past and so they could bring back anyone dead or alive in their world and that's where he got to Green Arrow potentially coming back or characters 
can be recast, characters can, you know, show up once again who were dead, like Green Arrow, and so there are lots of opportunities, and this is what Superman Lois's showrunner Todd Helbing was hammering in after the big reveal, because obviously the big reveal is very controversial, and people look at the Superman Lois season 2 finale very differently now after the episode, because that decision didn't sit right with most Arrowverse fans, because we all suspected, oh, after that season 1 appearance with Diggle, that basically confirmed that Superman Lois was set on Earth Prime, it was characters that we know, but they slightly altered some stuff, but no, in fact, with season 2, they've officially confirmed that all of the characters that we thought we were watching, they are different, they are characters from another Earth, and so this basically distances them from The Flash and from the other shows, and that is where we need to continue with this because apparently, according to David Ramsey, Gotham Knights and Justice U, which he is producing and he's going to direct and also star in, are apparently connected and will be set on the same earth seemingly as Superman and Lois. And so if this is the new direction that they want to go on, I guess it makes sense that they would introduce them two new shows and try and get it kick-started. However, it doesn't make sense with Gotham Knights because apparently Batman has been around for a long time and it basically begins as Batman dies and his kid and also, you know, his villain's kids, they become the Gotham Knights. And so in terms of continuity and what they're trying to set up, that actually doesn't make sense because apparently in Superman Lois' this world, Superman is the only hero that exists. And I'm pretty sure if Batman is as big as he is in the Gotham Knights trailer and he lived on Superman Lois's Earth, that would just make no sense at all. So I think there is definitely big holes into what they're planning and I don't think it's going to be as clean as they think it's going to be. And also I think a lot of fans aren't going to like it and I think Superman Lois may lose some viewers after the season 2 finale. Obviously there is so many Superman Lois fans like myself who are definitely going to come back for Season 3, despite being a bit disappointed about the reveal. But it does make sense, since Superman and Lois has had this success, that they might want to copy the formula and continue with these new shows in a similar manner that doesn't tie them back to what's already been established by the Arrowverse, and it also gives them the opportunity to retouch on things in a different way and reuse stories if they want to. And so he also said that maybe John Diggle, that he's going to show up in Justice U, is not going to be the John Diggle of Earth Prime, but the one of Superman Lois' Earth that we met at the end of Superman Lois Season 2 when he had that brief appearance. And so that is completely weird. So apparently, according to David Ramsey, Earth Prime John Diggle is gone and he's finished with his story after rejecting the Green Lantern Ring, and apparently that's the last we're going to see of him, so the Flash's episode is potentially the last time we're going to see the Arrow version of John Diggle, because supposedly they're going to continue with this new John Diggle from Superman Lois' Earth, and basically give him a clean slate so he isn't tied back to his family anymore, which is a very interesting twist, and we'll have to wait and see how true this is when he eventually shows up again. But all of this basically confirms that this new Superverse is going to be a real thing. And it's something that they're planning to do. And seemingly Justice U is going to be set on Superman Lois' Earth. And it's going to be with new characters that haven't appeared in the past. And obviously they can reuse characters like I mentioned. However, it's not going to be familiar faces that we know, despite John Diggle looking so familiar, it's just the character that we've seen in Superman Lois does work for Argus, which he does on Earth Prime, so there is not much of a difference, but there is a clean slate for him so that they can explore him in a different way with Justice U and whenever he appears in Superman Lois anytime in Season 3 or beyond that. So what do you guys think of this? This is obviously going to be very controversial, but I really appreciate getting a little bit of an insight so that we as fans can be prepared for what's to come because we've been under the impression that Justice U would be the last kind of Arrowverse show and, you know, this kind of one beacon of hope that we as Arrowverse fans have because we were presumed it's a John Diggle show, so surely it's going to be connected to Arrow and be set on Earth Prime. But it seems David Ramsey, after talking to Comic Chris, has basically confirmed that no, 
it's not going to be Salt and Earth Prime, and it's not going to be in the main Arrowverse, it's going to be on another Earth, although set in the Arrowverse, but in this new kind of Superman Lois world where they're going to be establishing different shows, and that is apparently their plan for now, but obviously things can change and maybe they go back to the Arrowverse, but according to David Ramsey, apparently The Flash is going to be the final Arrowverse show, and if that is true, I think that's actually very sad and it's a bit of a waste in my opinion. I think they should continue with the Arrowverse, although I don't mind setting shows on different Earths, I think they shouldn't just ignore Earth Prime because I think that kind of takes away from the impact of the legacy of Arrow and the legacy of the other shows, especially after The Flash goes. We're going to have nothing left, we're just going to have the Arrowverse shows but not connected to the main Arrowverse. So, that's just my opinion, I'm not so hot on the idea, however, I still want to see Justice U. I do kind of want to see Gotham Knights, although I wasn't a big fan of the trailer. I love Superman Lois and I love the season 2 finale, even if I wasn't hot on the big reveal. But that's just the way it is as Arrowverse fans, I don't think any of us are going to be satisfied with what they have done. But we just have to accept it if we want to continue watching Superman Lois, which I will for sure. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if it did inform you, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications, also remember to subscribe and watch Comic Chris's video on this, it's his exclusive that he got at London Film and Comic Con while talking to David Ramsey. But for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.